Hi there, hope all of you are doing good. Today I'm going to be unboxing DJI Osmo Pocket 3. This is the creator combo and this is the UK version. Uh, I've seen a few videos. Uh, in some of the videos, uh, some of the creators, they've got a uh, uh, black mist filter in the combo. I'm not really quite sure will I get it. I can't see anything on the box saying that it does include black mist uh, uh, filter, but uh, let's start it. Uh, the first thing first, I think this is a, a very big improvement compared to the Pocket 2. So the main things you get one inch CMOS sensor, 4K 120 frames per second recording, 10-bit uh, log recording. Uh, it has a two inch rotatable screen, uh, active tracking, and obviously it is a mechanical uh, gimbal. So when you're using the action camera the all the stabilizations you get uh, those uh, that is basically uh, electronic stabilization and in low light it's not really good so if you have a uh, any type of action camera you know what i'm talking about so what i've seen in the videos uh, the low light performance is uh, brilliant uh, and the, compared to action camera especially and even compared to the uh, iphone 15 pro or uh, pixel 8 pro the low light performance is way better. So what we get in a box, uh, just the starter guides. Uh, this is for the app. Uh, this is uh, the, the quick start guide. So if you're not familiar with the, the Pocket, Osmo Pocket series gimbals, then, uh, or the cameras, what shall I say, uh, you can go through it. Uh, it's not as straightforward uh, the way it was with the Pocket 2 as well. So this is the warranty card. So you can register it, or you can just go on their website and just uh, you, they need to see the proof of purchase and they can register your product uh, this is uh, the only other small box and uh, I think this is the the case for the gimbal so nothing else in the box and uh, to me it looks like it's slightly bigger compared to pocket 2 but uh, I prefer slightly bigger because that thing was too small and uh, without the attachments it was not very comfortable to use so that's a gimbal case cover whatever you want to call it it's a hard case uh yeah feels quite nice it has a textured uh, material on the top uh dgi logo on the side and inside you have uh, a place to store wide angle lens and the black pro mist filter uh i think yeah so let's open the main uh, case or box and see what does it come with. I assume everything should be inside because uh, in the other box it was not much other than the case. So first thing first, the case, it feels quite nice. Uh, just a regular paperwork or tag or whatever. So the case feels quite nice and the way the zippers are, I think it's waterproof. I can see that uh, and it's a textured material again so it feels premium it doesn't feel cheap so yeah it feels quite nice the yeah, zip is quite smooth as well and yeah okay so this is the gimbal it's slightly bigger than uh, Pocket 2, but uh, I still feel it's quite small. Uh, especially when you are, if you're vlogging, uh, then it shouldn't be an issue. But if you are doing filming a product or you're doing uh, uh, something like that, which you have to move your hands a lot, then a little bit more length or I don't know, something to you'll say hold on to or something like that. So there are mics on the side. Uh, I'm going to peel the, the screen cover or sticker on it. So, okay. Yeah, it's quite nice. The screen is quite a bit bigger. It's very bright and vibrant. Uh, it's an OLED screen. So, yeah. And the lens, you can see uh, the camera sensor. Obviously, you can't see it's a lens at the front. It looks uh, quite a bit bigger compared to the Pocket 2 as well. So... Yeah. To me, it looks uh, a big step, a leap ahead, big leap ahead compared to Pocket 2. 
the way they have improved the things and the size of the screen, size of the, the sensor. And okay, so when you rotate the screen back, it just automatically uh, close. There's a textured back, so for the better grip. The problem here is if you wanna use a tripod, I think you need to attach one of the attachments because there's no tripod thread. So this is a micro SD card slot. To me, it looks quite deep, so you need to have a big nails or you're gonna be using some kind of tool. It's a mic at the back. Uh, one mic I can see at the side as well and one at the front. So, yeah. So let's see what else is in the box. This is the, I think, one of the attachments if you need to use a tripod with a gimbal. So, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's the one. So it's got a USB-C attachment, this one is. So you just click it in. It's got the same texture back uh, like the gimbal. So USB-C is at the uh, back of the attachment instead of at the bottom, the way it was on the gimbal. At the bottom, there is a, a thread for a tripod. So this one is a similar looking uh, attachment, but it's slightly bigger. Uh, I believe this one has a battery inside as well. So if you want to use a tripod and want a longer battery life, uh, the Creator Combo does come with this attachment. Uh, this is double the size of the first one I've showed you, and but the same mechanism, USB-C, and it just clips in. So it has a USB-C charging at the back and the tripod thread at the bottom. So you can use, you can charge the, the gimbal at the same time while it's on a tripod. So for the longer sessions, uh, I think this will be quite useful. So compared to the, the first one, as I said, it's double the size almost. So yeah, with a battery and a grip. I think it should be quite useful if you're going for the longer session and plus to improve the grip as well. Uh, definitely this will be quite useful. So yeah, let's see what else is in the box so this one looks like a tripod uh let's see how special it is <laughs> okay so again dga logo everywhere uh, it's a plastic tripod nothing special but uh, uh fit and finish is nice it's not adjustable the legs are not adjustable so yeah but it's quite uh, looks like quite stable yes so quite stable so as i said if you want to use a tripod with a gimbal you need to use one of these attachments you can't directly uh, use the tripod on the with the gimbal so first you're going to use the attachment and then you can put the place the gimbal on the top so what else so the one of the most important i think things in the combo is this dji mic 2 uh, this is a transmitter so it has a mic inside and it uh, gets connected with your gimbal the pocket 3 and I think it does come already paired up uh, so you don't need to do any pairing you just turn it on and you can start using it so even though I've seen on the videos the mic on the gimbal by itself they're quite decent but if you are filming yourself from far or you need to something else where you're not very close to the gimbal this is very useful and the quality uh, the sound quality that comes from this uh, uh, mic plus the transmitter is pretty good. So you can always use a lavalier mic uh, with this as well, but uh, it can be used by itself. Uh, the, not many people, they're liking the, the clear at uh, the front, uh, but it doesn't matter. It's a tool uh, to use and uh, I think it should be uh, pretty fine. So there's a USB cable in there and uh, with the USB cable, I think it should be a lens as well in there. Let's have a look, uh, the wide angle lens. Okay, so this is, uh, okay, for the mic, it's a wind muffler or dead cat, whatever they call it. And this is a loop, your wrist loop, strap, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, that's for the gimbal. And uh, yeah, it looks quite nice. Okay, so, Let's see if how does this thing fits. Going also on the road mics, 
it's a twist mechanism so this one basically when you're not using a level EMI mic you can just insert it in the uh, the the 3.5 mm jack and it just fits nicely there so that's quite nice I, I like this one compared to the way the road uh, they have done it on their mics so it should be a wide angle lens in there yeah there it is and uh, I'm not really quite sure I think it's let me have a look on the box so wide angle lens I think it uh, the field of view it increased to 15 millimeter from uh, 1920 to 15 millimeter so another 20 percent of uh, extra you'll get the the field of view or the extra coverage you can get it from a camera so again there is a DGI logo on the top and it is I believe should be magnetic here yeah, I can see the magnets at the back so should fit on the uh, gimbal quite nicely so let's let me try that one okay this should go the should be on the other side i think yeah okay uh, the magnets they don't feel uh very strong and uh, i don't think if you need to or if you want to use a black mist filter this will go along with that like both of them you can use at the same time i don't think so because at the front of the uh this lens the wide angle lens there is i can't see uh any grooves or anything like that where the other filter you can put it on the top so I think you don't need to uh, calibrate the gimbal again uh, when you put this uh, wide angle lens it's not very heavy so the gimbal is working fine I can't see any like jitterness or anything like that so you don't need to calibrate when you put the lens on that's what my initial impressions are I think so it should be fine but if you need to calibrate I'll, I'll test it uh, and if you need to calibrate again when you put the the wide angle lens on obviously I'll let you know in the next video but uh, yeah that's how it is so there is uh, where you can place the the lens so there's a place for wide angle lens and you don't need to store it separately you can just like when you store your gimbal in the case you can store it along with it uh, unfortunately in the UK creator combo there is no black mist filter so you have to buy it separately I did check it uh, on the DJI website it's out of stock and when it comes back in the stock no idea so personally I will wait for the other third parties to come up with some filters and filters and the black mist filter and buy uh, like all together it might comes out a bit cheaper I think DJI is selling uh, the black mist filter for 39 pounds and the ND filters uh, three ND filters for 59 I think I'm not really quite sure you can go on the DJI website and check it so if you need to uh, this uh, attach this the battery grip the first thing it says that do not press the button when you want to attach it uh, you just like click it in it just clicks in and when you need to take it off press the button and the hinges on the side they just opens up and you can just pull it out so it's not very smooth but it does feel secure yeah I can see it so it charges basically the gimbal's battery first whenever you're charging it it shows on the screen as well and then it charges the uh, the battery in a grip uh, that's how it is I think this is the must-have if you've got a bigger hands gimbals by by itself is uh, it's obviously they it says that it's a pocket Osmo pockets it's quite small uh, with this one I think if you don't want a uh, gimbal to be too high on a tripod then you might use this a small attachment but for me I think I will be always using the the the, the battery the battery grip basically this larger one this one f is feels better and uh, if you need a bit more reach especially while you vlog in then I think this is the the best kind of a thing so with the tripod and a battery grip I think this feel the best so that's it for today uh, I really like the gimbal the quality is top-notch uh, obviously when I'll use it I can give you more feedback like always like share subscribe 
And if you've got any questions, please do let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.